now let's go to the fill in the blanks so first one it is asked one million has dash zeros dash zeros how many zeros are there in one million so let's write first one million so let's write from the right side the place right side place starts with once so once for all the places we put zero only in one million we will write one so once tens hundreds thousands ten thousand hundred thousand again next comes one million so this three year once period once tens hundreds once period one thousand ten thousand hundred thousand is thousands period and one million alone in million period and here so this is one million so how many zeros are there one two three four five six six zeros are there so one million has six zeros again dash and dash are the places in the lakhs period in lakhs period how many play what are the places are there in one period lakhs period comes only in indian system so in one period the places are ones tens and hundreds so these are the three places again next comes the thousands period so in indian system in thousands period it is 1000 and 10000 1000 and 10000 only these two places are there 1000 and 10000 next comes the lakhs period so in lakhs period first is 1 lakh next is 10 lakh so in lakhs period which are the places are there 1 lakh and the 10 lakh so you can just write it here the answer is lakh and 10 lakh so lakh and 10 lakh are the, are the places in the lakhs period third one the successor of 37999 successor means what you have to do you have to plus one so with 37999 we will add one so if you add 1, 9 plus 1, 10, 0 will write 1 you carry here, 1 plus 9, 10, 0 write 1 you carry here, 1 plus 9, 10, 0 and 1 carry here, 7 plus 1, 8 and T. So the successor of 30,999 is 38,000. Again the largest 4 digit even number is, so largest 4 digit number is, 9999 but you have to see two conditions are there four digit and even number so this this should be two conditions are given so this is a four digit number but this is not fulfilling this condition even number even number cannot end in nine so there should be even number so uh, we will go for the previous number so previous number is 9998 so this is the four digit even number largest four digit even number is 9998 fifth one place value of 9 in 29,67,524 so in this you have to find the place value so place value what you have to do you have to multiply the number by the place so the number is 9 and its place is 1, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000 and lakh so it is in the lakh period so you have to multiply by the lakh lakh place so you have to multiply by the lakh so if you multiply by the lakh 9 into 1 lakh it is 9 lakh so you can write in numeral like this otherwise you can write in number name 9 lakh again okay, next one put the sign greater than or less than in the blank and i want to tell some of you are just writing the lakh lakh is the place it is not a place value place value you have to multiply by the number many of you have written lakh it is a wrong answer now put the sign greater than or less than in the blank so you add this and you find out whether it is bigger than or smaller than so this is 1 lakh 50,000 
one lakh fifty thousand and this is two thousand. Arrange the digits properly, otherwise you will make mistake. And this is five hundred ninety-seven. So if you add zero zero plus seven seven zero zero plus nine nine zero zero plus five five. Some of you write zero, it is wrong. It zero if you plus any number, you will get the same number as the answer. Zero plus two. Two and here five and here one, so you are getting one lakh fifty two thousand five hundred ninety seven. So you compare the digits now here six digits here also six digits. So first you compare this one here also one here also one. Next here is five here is five. Again here is two here is two. This all are equal now. Next you see here is six and here is five. So in six and five which is bigger, six is bigger. So this will be the bigger number. So the symbol is this one. Seventh one, sixty-three thousand nine hundred twenty. One addend is missing, and you are getting the answer sixty-five thousand nine hundred twenty. To find the missing addend, you can minus from the sum this one. You can minus. This is a bigger number. From here, you can minus this one and get. But directly to find the answer, I will say, see here. The six is remaining the same. This also five digit number. This also five digit. One two three four five. One two three four five. Five digit number. So you can combine the digits. Here is six. Here also six. This is zero. Here also zero. This is two. Here also two. Here is nine. Here is nine. Only which is difference is there. Here three and here five. All others are remaining the same. So here. The thousands place ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So thousands, thousands place. There is a change. So how many? If you add with three, you will get five. From three, how many number? If you add, you will get five. If you add two, you will get five. So with this, you have to add two. So in thousands place, you have to add two. So thousands. So two thousand. So two thousand is the answer. This is a short way finding the answer. Those are finding it difficult from the sum. This is the sum. So from the sum, you minus the given addend. The given addend is sixty three thousand nine hundred twenty. Sixty three thousand nine hundred twenty. This two you minus. Zero two minus two zero nine minus nine zero five minus three two six minus six zero. So the answer is two thousand. Next one. Smallest six-digit number plus greatest four-digit number. Smallest six-digit number. So there should be six digit. So smallest number is six-digit number. So one. So smallest number. To write the smallest number, write we start with one and remaining digits you write zero. So one again zero two three four five six. So this is the smallest six-digit number. Plus with this you have to add the greatest four digit number. So to write the greatest number only nine. So four digit number. So you write four nine. So nine 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 nine. So all this you have to add now. Zero plus nine nine. Zero plus nine is not zero. Many write zero. It is not zero. Zero plus nine nine. Zero plus nine nine. Zero plus nine nine. Zero plus nine. Again zero one. So the answer is one lakh nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. One lakh nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Many of you have written only this, this and this. They have asked you to find the sum plus. You have to add. So since it is given add, you have to add and write. If you write this only, I can give the marks. If you write only this, I cannot give the marks. Ninth one four hundred ninety five plus dash equal to four hundred ninety five. So one addend is given, another addend is missing, and the sum is four ninety five. So sum and the addend is same. So which number if you add, you will get the same addend is the answer. So this is in property of zero, it is there. If you add zero with any number, you will get the same as the sum. So zero is the answer. Next one here, if it is given in bracket three numbers, so I told this associative property and associative property. You find in equal sign in both the side. You find which number is missing. Here four hundred is there. Both the side four hundred is there. Two hundred sixty three is this side, but it is not here. So in the dash, here two hundred sixty three you write. And here 
now this side 400 263 is this 600 is not there so in this dash you write 600 here many of you made mistakes so see there. again here uh, at last it is given one dash here many of you didn't write the correct answer only this two most of you filled the answer but here you didn't write here you have to add this three number and write 600 plus 400 600 plus 400 how much 0 plus 0 0 0 6 plus 4 10 thousand so with thousand you have to add now 263 0 plus 3 3 0 plus 6 6 0 plus 2 2 and here 1 so the answer is here 1263 many of you didn't write this is the answer only one or two only had written this answer but this most of you are written only some of you are not written the correct answer but here most of you didn't write the correct answer so practice once again first you look at the video and see whether you understood or not again without seeing you write by yourself and practice and see then only by practice only maths will become easier without practicing maths will be difficult so practice thoroughly thank you